Hello, everyone. Welcome to Unicor's product introduction. I'm Sofia from Unicor Communications, and today I'm going to introduce one of our new generation GSS product, UM980, a high precision RTK positioning module. UM980 is based on Unicor's Nebulous Foresock, which is a new generation RF and baseband integrated GSS SOC with our independent intellectual property rights and has powerful computation ability. If you have watched the other two videos of UM982 and UM960, you'll find all of them are based on Nebulous 4. The main difference between the three modules consists in their application fields. According to the needs of different applications, we have adapted our products to ensure excellent performance in a given scenario. UM982, for example, is the best choice for dual antenna applications, such as drones, autonomous machines, and agricultural machinery. UM960 is most suitable for long hours and handheld devices, and UM980, which supports more frequencies and with powerful computation ability, is the best choice for single antenna applications such as serving and mapping, precision agriculture, and portable base station. Compared with our previous generation product, UM4B0, UM980 has achieved a smaller size, lower power consumption, lower heat, and it also supports jamming detection, PPP, with high sensitivity and 50 Hz data update rate. Next, let's look at each of these characteristics. First, small size. UM980 benefits from the high integration of the Nebulous 4 chip and is featured by a small form factor. It's packaged in 17 mm in width and 22 mm in length and is compatible with the international mainstream products on the market. Second, power consumption. Our previous generation product, UM4B0, has a power consumption of about 1.6 watts to 1.7 watts, while UM980's average power consumption is only about 480 milliwatts. This suggests that UM980 not only consumes less power, but also generates less heat. This slide shows two pictures of thermal imaging of UM4B0 and UM980 running at room temperature for one hour. And we can see the highest temperature of UM4B0 is 51 degrees Celsius, and that of UM980 is only 38.2 degrees Celsius. So UM980 generates less heat, and its rising temperature is about 14 degrees less than UM4B0. Next, let's have a look at the jamming detection function. UM980 can output logs with jamming information, including the jamming indicator and the jamming strength, in different frequency bands which help you to evaluate the influence of the jamming signals on the positioning performance and provide information for your host algorithm to make judgments. When you detect the jamming signals, you can use Unicore software you precise, as shown in this picture, to see the jamming signals directly in the graphs. UM980 can also provide precise point positioning, or PVP for short, including the Galileo E6 High Accuracy Service and BDS B2B PVP. In an open environment, the convergence time of PVP can be less than 10 minutes, and the positioning accuracy can reach 10 centimeters. 
So far, the PEP service of UM 980 has been used in large quantities in precision agriculture and maritime applications. UM 980 features high sensitivity. It can track signals down to minus 161 dBm and acquire signals down to minus 147 dBm. So even in weak signal environments, like the one with a lot of trees or tall buildings, UM980 can still perform well, which enables your device to unlock more application scenarios. Besides the high sensitivity, UM980 can also provide a stable output of 50 Hz RTK data and 50 Hz raw observation data to meet the requirement of some applications that need high update rates, such as bridge deformation monitoring. This table shows the basic features of UM980. Apart from the advantages which were mentioned before, like the low power consumption, high sensitivity, and data update rate, UM980 can track new signals such as GPS L1C, GLONASS G3, Galileo E6, and NAVIC L5. Moreover, UM980 supports a wide range of SPAS, including the K SPAS in Korea. Ace bus in Africa and the span in Australia. Meanwhile, the time to first fix is also improved. With the cold start TTFF less than 12 seconds, hot start TTFF less than 4 seconds, and if you use AGNSS, the TTFF can be reduced to be within 6 seconds. Next, I'll show you some test results in real application scenarios, and the first one is serving and mapping. This test was carried out in the open sky without any obstructions or multipath reflections, as the picture shows. And the test results are shown in this slide. From the figure and table, we can see the positioning accuracy and fixed rate are both excellent, where the fixed rate has achieved 100%. The second test was conducted in the tree canopies with buildings nearby, so some of the GNSS signals were blocked and there were multipath reflections. In this environment, with a baseline of 10 kilometers, the positioning accuracy of UM980 is similar to that of the competitive product, but UM980's fixed rate is relatively higher. The next application is precision agriculture. The environment of agriculture is more signal friendly, which is yearly under open sky. And in this kind of environment, it's not difficult to achieve centimeter level RTK positioning. So next, I'll mainly introduce the PVP performance of UM980. Here are two pictures showing the PVP position error tested in Beijing. On the left is the test results of Galileo E6 high accuracy service. We can see the horizontal position error, which is the black line, is about 10 cm in RMS, and the vertical position error, which is the blue line, is also about 10 cm RMS. The picture on the right is the test results of B2B PVP. The horizontal position error is about 8 cm RMS, and the vertical position error is about 6 to 7 centimeters RMS. The next application scenario is the portable base station as shown in this picture. For base station applications, the data quality is very important. 
This table shows the TEQC analysis results of UM980 under OpenSky. And we can see the data utilization ratio has reached 99.99%. .99%. The multipath error of different frequencies are small, and the cycle slip ratio is good, which is higher than the requirement of the industry. In order to make it easy for you to test and use our product, we provide an evaluation board, namely the UM980EB, with a user menu which can be used as the hardware reference design of the UM980 module. There is also an evaluation box called Unikit, as shown in the pictures, which supports 4G communication, entry protocol, data storage, and it's compatible with all of Unicor's GeneSS products. Unicor attaches great importance to the quality of our products and complies with the industry regulations such as ROSE, RICH, FCC, and IC to safeguard human health and the environment. We have also passed the certification of ISO 9001 Quality Management System, IECQ Hazardous Substance Process Management System, and ISO 26262 Functional Safety Management System to provide you with reliable and high-quality products. If you have any questions, you can visit our website and leave us a message. We would answer your questions as soon as possible. And that's all of this presentation. Hope this video will help you learn about our product. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.